Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, my name is Mary and welcome to another Craft Day Wednesday where every Wednesday I make a new video. Um, in today's video we are going to be doing another bank. I did a dog bank for uh, one of my friend's little daughter and that same friend told me that her niece would like to have a bank so um we're going to do a piggy bank a pink piggy bank say that three times fast <laughs> um so yeah so basically what we're going to need for this project is i'm going to be working with the container like this but much smaller um it's made the exact same way but it's just smaller um so you're going to be needing a container like this you're going to be needing um different color felt that I have here. Uh, you're going to be needing hot glue, scissors, pencil, some type of foam that I have here. And um, yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera down so we can just get right into it. So um, this is the container that I have here, but this is not the one we're going to be working with. It's just that I went ahead and wrapped a smaller container that we was going to be working with because I wanted to get that step out of the way. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your pink felt and you're just going to go ahead and you're going to wrap it around the entire container, which is going to look like this. So as you can see, I went ahead, let's turn this, I went ahead and wrapped um, the whole container in uh, felt. And I have a lid here that's removable and I already went ahead and cut a slit in it. Let's turn it. So we're just going to set that to the side. So once you have your lid, you're going to take your felt that we have here. And I went ahead and I traced a circle around the lid. And then we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to cut this out. And you want to cut it out a little bit bigger than the actual, uh, than the actual trace that you made. So you want to just cut it out around the trace. So you just want to don't cut, make it a little bit wider than the actual than you than what you did when you traced it. If that makes sense. And I am super sorry about my my voice. I have a cold. So yeah. So here we have our little lid, and I'm just gonna go ahead and set that there and I'm going to take my pencil and I'm just gonna trace and now I'm gonna fold this over and then I'm just gonna cut on that trace line so that way we can make our little have our little opening for our coins to go in so let's just stick that on here just like that and I may need to cut that again because I think I made it too wide, but it's fine. I'm just going to recut. I'm just going to trace it again. It's always a hit and miss with that step. So I went ahead and traced it. And now we're just going to go ahead and cut. And like I said, this is my first time making a bank. So yeah. Um, so yeah, got that cut. It's not perfect, but it's fine. Okay. There we go. I'm just going to start there and then I'm just going to trim off whatever I don't use because 
I kind of cut it off center, but it's fine. It's fine. There we go. So now we're just going to stick this right here just like that. And I'm just going to make sure that is glued down. And I'm just going to go ahead and trim off the extra that I didn't need. So there we have that. And now, um, I took a strip of pink felt and I just wrapped it around. So just like this. So we're just going to go ahead and wrap this around. And I probably should have did that. So I went ahead and wrapped my pink lid around my container and I left my slot open and you can just stick that on there and I am going to take a little more of this pink felt and I'm just going to cut off a small strip and I'm just going to uh, wrap that around so I'll have a so I can clean up my ends a little bit. So I'm basically just cutting off a long little strip and I can, um, I'm just going to estimate about how much I need and then I can just cut away any of the extra that's not needed. So set that to the side and I'm just going to go around the ends just like this and just see what. So I'm going to grab my hot glue and we're just going to go around the ends of the container starting here and just kind of clean up our, our um, the uh, rough patch that I cut. I'm just going to kind of make it neat. Uh, though the, look, my um, friend's niece probably is not going to care about that part, but let's make it presentable anyways. And her little, her niece loves pink. It's her absolute favorite color. But I think, um, as I think every little girl likes pink. I think, I mean, I think I may have liked pink once, once, once upon a time. Um, red is my favorite color now. So let's cut that. And then we're just going to go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue right here and we're just gonna seal it like this and um, this video most likely is going to be marked as a child so um, YouTube is going to cut the commenting off of this project okay so now that we have that part done this is going to be our front part so we're going to take some black felt so I have some black felt here and we're just gonna put it across the bottom here or if you don't want to use pink we can you totally use a pipe cleaner which I think will probably work way better or maybe we can just go in with some darker felt let's do that let's go in with some some darker color felt and because uh, I, I think this will be a little bit cuter I think she'll like it this way more because she loves pink so let's just put a little bit of hot glue down through here and these are going to be the, the little feet or whatever you call those things. And I'm just going to cut off that extra. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Pull that a little bit. So let's just put this, 
put a little bit of hot glue. Let me turn it this way. So I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue right here, like this. Stick that across like that. And we're just going to go ahead, put this on here, just like that. And I'm just going to cut off the extra. Got that cut. Let's move this out the way. There's the little. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I took a piece of foam that I have here and I just cut the nose. So I just cut it in like an olive shape. So that's basically what I did. So you're going to end up with the shape like this. And I went ahead and covered it in felt. And once you cover it in a felt, you want to take your black Sharpie and you just want to make little nose holes for your pig. So this is what you're going to end up with. So this is what we have. And then you just kind of want to pick a spot that you want that little nose to go. And I am going to put mine here. So I am going to put some hot glue right on the back. Like that. And then we're just going to go ahead and pick a spot. And like I said, I'm just going to put mine here. Seems like a good enough spot to me. And I'm just going to go in with my Sharpie again and just make the little holes a tad bit bigger. That's what we have so far. Let's turn that light a little bit. So here's our, this is what we have so far. And now what I did for the ears that we have here, I took a piece of cardboard and I just cut out the shape of the ears so let's take that so basically what I did I took my pencil and I drew on the shape of the ear which is like that and then I cut it out and when you cut it out you're going to end up with this you want to go ahead and wrap your piece of cardboard in felt and this is what I have here And you're going to go ahead and pick where you want your ears to go. But before I do that, I think I'm going to go ahead and I got some um, googly eyes. And let's see where we want those eyes to go. I'm just going to place everything about where I want it. And then we're just going to go ahead and... Okay, that looks good. So we're going to put one here. Stick that on. And we're going to put the other one here. This is actually kind of cute. I may have to make my nieces and nep my, well, my nieces one and come up with something for the boys. So this is what we have. And now let's do the ears. So let's put one ear here, and we're just going to stick that on just like this. And I'm going to put the other one here. So let's put a little bit of hot glue there, and we're just going to stick this right there. Hold it for a little bit. So this is what we have. And I'm just going to... And if you want the ears to bend, you can go ahead and do this and just hold that there for a little bit. Or you can put a dab of hot glue on. I'm just going to bend mine for a little. And that's what you get. Now, 
the fun part is we're going to take our little pipe cleaner and um, it's a little uh, different color from what I have here but this these were the only two that I could find that was kind of sort of like it. So uh, for the tail, what you want to do is you want to take your uh, pipe cleaner and you just want to wrap it around the pencil. And if you don't have a pencil, you can wrap it around your finger. You're going to get the same results. And I'm just going to squish it and pull it out. And this is the little tail that you get for your pig. Of course it's too long so let's just cut a little of this off and there's our little tail and then you just pick where you want to stick it and I am going to stick mine right here so grab a little bit of hot glue and we're just gonna hold oh, that's hot <laughs> we're just gonna hold that on just like this without burning your finger and let's get all of this out of the way and here is the back and here is the front and here is the lid it is removable so you can take it off and you can put this back on just like that and there you have it this is our cute little pig piggy bank so yeah um here it is here it is from the back oh what is going on what my... there we go okay anyway so yeah um here we have it if you like this video, please give me a like and a thumbs up. Please feel free to share this video with your family and friends. Um, if you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can become part of my YouTube family. And don't forget to set your post notification, ring the bell, so that every time I post a new video, you'll be notified of it. So, um... With that being said, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch one of my videos and remember this video is um this video is um well youtube is going to consider this video for a child because it is a kid's piggy bank so comments will be turned off but if you want to ask me questions you can do so on facebook you can find me there at mary smith maddock that's where you'll find me. So, uh, yeah, and with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you all have a very nice night. Bye.